Well, the morning session here uh, has flown by. Actually, we've talked to a lot of people. Most of the counselors have already spoken their piece and talked about what's important to them. Coming up at 1.30 today here on the uh, Richmond Senate Facebook page will be the trustees and people running for mayor. Before we take a break, uh, we're here back here with uh, Martin, the managing editor at the Richmond Sentinel, who is uh, behind this, the paper. Let's talk again a bit about what's going on in the city, Martin, in terms of the elections. Uh, you alluded to our in our last break about getting people involved, getting them informed, and getting them to vote. That is the paramount of importance in something like this. Absolutely. So I've been I've been in the journalism field for almost a quarter century. Wow. Um, <laughs> we always say you started when you were eleven. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And uh, when I was at the Richmond Review, uh, nothing would bother me more than when somebody would call us up and they would say, I complain about something. Mm -hmm. And the first question I would ask them was, uh, did you vote? Right. And then they would say, no, I didn't. And I go, well, that was your opportunity to make a difference in your community. If right. you didn't like the direction the city was headed, council was headed, yeah, yeah. school board, you had that opportunity. You don't have that opportunity anymore. You'll vote, you're not allowed to complain. Absolutely. Right. I mean, people say that all the time. I don't like who's the mayor of town. Did you vote? Mm -hmm. This is, there's no level of government where you have more of an influence on your day-to-day -day lives than at this civic election. And uh, do you find, I, I know that you're always battling voter disinterest or apathy, but I also find that people sometimes just don't know who's involved, where to do it, how can I find out more information. We should say that uh, you guys are sponsoring today what we're doing on Facebook, and we should also say that if you missed a lot of the interviews today or some of the interviews, you can see the whole thing again after 6 p.m. tonight on the uh, Richmond Sentinel Facebook page and on their YouTube channel. We should also say that you can check out some great information on your website, uh, richmondsentinel.ca, which has bios, which also has questionnaires that are answered, so there's no excuse for you not to get informed. Um, your paper is a big part of what's going on right now in informing people, yeah? Absolutely. So in their mid-September edition, we dedicated the entire paper. Mm -hmm. We basically gave every candidate a half a page to basically connect with the community. Right. Uh, that's never been done. I, I've been a journalist for a long time, uh, but we're a different type of newspaper. We're a nonprofit newspaper. Our job is to serve the community. So of the 62 candidates, we had 47 candidates in that first edition. Nice. We dedicated around 30 pages to their bios. Uh, so uh, what that would allow is those people that didn't have the money to spend uh, on marketing themselves, they would still have a platform to connect with the community. And we talked in our last break when you and I were together about um, how it's become much more uh, important and bigger in terms of the, what you guys do, the paper, online, hard copy, but also the, the, the readers that they can get in touch with you. What, do you, what are you hearing from uh, your readers is, is really uh, important to them out there in terms of what's coming up with this next election? I think there's some people that have, I think it's actually a, a vocal minority that are spending a lot of time and effort talking about some of the things that are out there. Uh, I don't get a sense that there's a, a mad crush of people that are uh, passionate about any one thing or another. Variety things. Yeah, so, yeah, I think generally, that today actually yeah, I think generally people love this city. Mm -hmm. uh, would they like to see some tweaks to the city? Absolutely. But it's not like they're protesting some of the decisions that have been happening at City Hall. You're not seeing thousands yeah. or tens of thousands of people. There are always people that are going to be upset. Uh, you're not going to be able to please everybody all of the time. But generally, I think the direction the city is headed uh, has, has been pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and you can base that on the, 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 the responses you have in the community. There are, of course, like I said, there are going to be some groups that are upset. And, yeah. you know, they deserve every right to be able to uh, articulate uh, their and concerns, right? Democracy, right? right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Martin. Uh, Martin Vanden Hamel. Got that last name right? You got it. Wow, I got Thank it right. You. He's managing uh, editor at the uh, Richmond Sentinel Community News. We talked earlier about the importance of local journalism and local uh, publications such as the uh, Sentinel in covering this kind of thing. And they're here today. You're watching this actually on the Facebook page as we mentioned earlier. You can catch all of it again at 6 p.m. and on their YouTube channel. And coming up, as we said, around 1.30, we'll be back. We'll be talking to the trustees and those people running for mayor. And one more time, we must mention, if you do want more information, you can go to the Richmond Sentinel uh, website, richmondsentinel.ca, and also richmond.ca forward slash elections, or you can simply call 604-276-4100. As Martin said, it is important to be informed and equally important to vote, and that is why we are here today, and that's why the candidates are here. We will be back right here, Richmond City Hall, at 1.30. We hope you'll join us then.